Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr. back here with Clever News. And Justin Timberlake just broke his silence after he received waves of backlash following the Framing Britney Spears documentary. Let's get into it. So last week, the Framing Britney Spears doc dropped on Hulu, and the documentary goes into her conservatorship, the Free Britney movement, and the media abuse that she faced. And while the doc covers years of Britney's career and public breakdown, many fans were particularly upset by the parts about her relationship with Justin Timberlake. Britney and Justin dated from a around 1998 to 2002, and if you were a fan of them back then, you remember that after their breakup, Britney's reputation took a major hit. The documentary reminded fans that amid their split, Justin plugged the narrative that Britney had cheated on him, and they also examined his 2002 song and music video for Cry Me A River, which seemingly shows him getting revenge on this girl who looks very similar to Britney Spears. Now, New York Times critic Wesley Morris spoke about the repercussions of the narrative that Justin pushed, saying, quote, the way that people treated her to be very high school about it was like she was the school slut and he was the quarterback. The doc also showed how the media treated Britney in interviews after their breakup. You broke his heart. You did something that caused him so much pain, so much suffering. What did you do? Fans started to demand an apology from Justin Timberlake on social media, and he quickly began trending on the platform. People were accusing him of sexism and misogyny, not only for this Britney Spears situation, but also due to his wardrobe malfunction with Janet Jackson at the Super Bowl in 2004. And now a week after the documentary dropped, Justin just shared his apology on social media. He shared a lengthy message writing, quote, I've seen the messages, tags, comments, and concerns, and I want to respond. I am deeply sorry for the times in my life where my actions contributed to the problem, where I spoke out of turn or did not speak up for what was right. I understand that I fell short in these moments and in many others and benefited from a system that condones misogyny and racism. He continued on and lent his apologies to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson. He wrote, quote, I specifically want to apologize to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson both individually because I care for and respect these women and I know I failed. While this apology is over 15 years late for both of the situations, Justin continued on saying how the entertainment industry is flawed in the way it sets men, especially white men, up for success. He acknowledged that this apology doesn't fix his past mistakes, but he is working on taking accountability for his own missteps. Justin ended his post saying, I care deeply about the well-being of the people I love and have loved. I can do better and I will do better. But since his post, Fans have been sharing their mixed reactions on social media. Some people are thanking Justin for speaking out like this person who wrote, quote, OMG, Justin Timberlake apologized to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson on Instagram. I never thought I'd see this day. Thank you, JT. Free Britney. And this fan agreed, but also added some good points writing, y'all, Justin Timberlake done apologized to Britney and Janet and it's about damn time. Hopefully he got in touch with them directly and didn't just post his apology on Instagram, but it's a start cause we ain't forgot but others weren't as quick to thank Justin for his apology. This person wrote, what we're not gonna do is praise Justin Timberlake for a vague half-assed apology that's about 15 years too late. And this fan chimed in saying, Justin Timberlake's apology means nothing because he doesn't acknowledge what he did or specify what he's apologizing for. It's performative. In his post, Justin didn't specify whether or not he reached out to Britney or Janet directly, but we'll keep you guys posted if we hear anything else on this matter. But for more on the Framing Britney Spears documentary, you can click right over here for another Clever News video, and then let us know what you think of Justin's apology down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr., and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, y'all.